Right, so here's the story of uh, John Newton and William Cowper, right? Yeah, 1767, right? And of course, Lodger, Lodger Cowper, so you know about putting the curds in here, preaching the ministry of Newton. So John Newton and William Cowper, see, the new on tea, right? It's a new type of idea. And of course, the cow person, right? It's dark hooded, yeah. These are preachers or something, you know, Christian preachers or something. Oh no, these were lace makers, right? Lace makers. That's a bit sort of funny in itself, right? Two bobbins. I think that's uh, Isaac Newton there, like, looks a bit like that to uh, Jeremy Vine, <laughs> sort of thing, exactly the same. The Boervine connection, right? The Cowboy's gland, right? Is a pair of N exocrine glands in the male reproductive system, right? So, of course, this is a yeah, tea drink that's putting their own curds in, right? Yeah. Name for English anatomist William Cowper, right, the cow person. Who, you know, who did studies in the reproductive systems, right? He came across, you know, named named the pair of glands after himself. So what were they doing studying the reproductive systems, see? Finding out all of the butyr trans stuff and that. See what I mean? William Cowper and the so this tea is obviously very influential in the field of the you know, transgender medicine research, right? The fellowship of the Royal Society there, right? The first thing you see, there's the coup, the cow, see? The coup pur, right? Or Q with a K U, right? The first thing you see, right, is the triple six, 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 good, right? And there, uh, eight and three. New and for the cow was gland, right? Hampshire, from Hampshire. So the GMs, right? The uh, Hampshire, the GMs, Petersfield. <coughs> Company of Barber Surgeons, so there you go. You know how that's real air, you know, related to the sex changes and all that. The Company of Barber Surgeons. So this is obviously very coded with fear, you know, hidden trans stuff and that. There's the, uh, see the work, reform order, like the reformation, right? A new administration of the muscles. See, how that they were trans, administrative eunuchs. An elected member of Royal Society, right? So obviously, you know, this was one of the big transes, right? And there's an angel, see, a representation of a trans. Look at the, uh, look at the bristles. The beard, it's a trans, obviously, right? the anatomy of the human bodies. And then the tract, the tract. Not a Peter about as well, Peter, as in the air, uh, the petri dish, see, the petri dish. A lot of you in our scientific research of trans.
You don't bother the uh, culpa and transgender, right? Got the idea of a gay homosexual culpa. But obviously that's, you know, like a cure for the trans, right? The uh, culpa's gland, the Bartholin's gland conversion. It's the most convert, when they're doing the transgender thing, right? The most convert the culpa's gland into a Bartholin's. And they're like, innit? So a lot of the, you know, culpa and the bruvine type of ideas to deal with it. And as Elizabeth Culpa has done a gender diversity account. And Culpa's gland and vagina are plasty. So there you go, the, uh, the bruvine type of ideas, right? And you always see the bother boys, right? And this was a, like a famous... They turned turn of freers in the 70s and the 80s, the Bother Boys. A member of a skinhead gang and all this, right? And there, as you see there, mid cough. Mid cough, so they're putting in the curds again. Obviously, these Bother Boys were Bovine Boys. Right? They're Bovine Boys. So the T's, right? You know, all these type of things of, you know, like here, uh, Queen's Park Rangers, the Bother Girls and the Bother Boys, 1960s and, you know, stuff like that. So, like, you know, it was all, it was all, um, tea stuff, see? Racists. There's a race code, right? So it was all tea drinker stuff, see, all these type of things, British skinheads in the late 60s. You know, it was all Masonic here, uh, Masonic type of um, culture movements and all that, see? And all the food of things and that were all set ups and that. Yeah, that was a famous one, the Dick Emery one, is the Bother Boy and all that. <laughs> and here you see the Bother Boys with their black and white checks, and that always went along with this. I think it was uh, meant to denote like score music or something, which was that type of Jamaican music and that. Of course, in Bruvine Boys, and that indicates the Freemasonry, they say black and white check and stuff, right? And the Bruvine Boys, and the skinhead reggae and all this type of thing, say the black and white ideas. Totally Masonic, you know. And of course, in front of a brick wall and all that, you know, just a total Masonic uh, culture, wasn't it? What, yes, you know, was supposed to have sprung up like organically but of course they are masonic land aren't they? masonic created in actual fact i think maybe it's the uh, you know the black and white idea might come from the cow itself because you know, a lot of cows is black and white right so that's like you know could actually be coming on that as well as like this type of two groups of people and not the blacks and whites yeah, but uh, this is cow's isle of white which is a holiday town on the Isle of Wight. It's again black and white curds and a cow's idea, right? <laughs> Estuary of the River Medina. That's the same one that's in the um, the Mecca thing and that, isn't it? The uh, Islam. Medina. Today, this is Venant. Yeah. Venant. Ordinary people, then it. Then it. Apprentice to David Deirdre. So you, you, get, you get some venant stuff, right? Like, yeah. Of the covenant, the covenant, right? The venant. See, the venant. Covenant. You see how it how we venant means coming, right? Like the coming race. Right? Comma. So the common race type of thing, the covenant. People of the covenant. 
Venantini or Venantini. Italian film like that, 1930 to 2018. Yes, people of the corner, right? they like in the old one. I, I was here uh, showing the how to carry the air uh, chariot, right? Yeah, the, that's the example of it. They're carrying the the air uh, ark of the covenant, right? So I think basically this ark of the covenant could represent like the uh, the royal chariot, right? And all the sort of people the, from the T race or carry, I say, they're carrying it. Holding it up and that, see, like holding the, holding up the foundations, like the pillars of masonry, right? The holding it up, the system, the yeah, uh, like the way of doing things and that, see. People of the covenant. So it's like yeah. Uh, now the arc become the race of the covenant. Their own T's support them, carry them, hold them, see? Hold it in place. I will be your God and you will be my people. The new covenant. See a covenant, uh, covenant contract or agreement between two parties, right? Will be the royal house, right? And of a party, not a contract. Tracy, right? Becomes tract. Uh, like I showed in the other one, see? Tracy and tract is the same. And the uh, a root which means to cut, see? Part of the contract is to cut. See? To get cut. Covenant James E. Mitchell. Covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord, right? The feudal Lord. The covenant of Raymond James, the, the race. The race. All the Kurds. Of course, the witches' covenant. Yeah. Again, deriving from the you know the cow idea, the cow and the bovine ideas. Spell casting, custom spells, Wicca and voodoo. Yeah. <clears throat> Covens and Wiccans and witches. See what I'm seeing all this stuff. Again, deriving from the air, uh, from the air. Uh, Cow's idea, cow's broth, coven, then group or gathering of witches, the key, the coven, you get the word cave type of thing from that as well, right? From conventum equals convention, so when these type of teas have these you know, all these science fiction conventions and all stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's basically you know, the same type of thing. They're all here. Yeah. There are tea drinkers. We can have groups of 13. You know, the significance of 13, right? Of course, here yeah, the seven and the hex. And the three, the, the three weird sisters. Which is our famous one with the Shakespeare. Of course, he uses the most famous type of images of it, you know, witchcraft and all that. And, um, there's one making spells and potions, see? And the most famous type of images, the, like the three witches around the cauldron, see? So in this cauldron, you can basically sort of take it that it's you know, full of cow's broth. It's full of the, uh, you know, the broth that they made from the cow. That's what they symbolise in this.